This week we're going to build something which I personally think is kind of cool and definitely sort of useful. Um, so I'm on Wikipedia, not in Secure Connection, and I'm going to cl click a random article. And I might be reading along, and let's say I come to a word that I don't know, like Pivotal. And I'm going to click on this Dict button, and here's the definition for Pivotal. And uh, let's say I don't know what... Uh, but what is a blockbuster, anyhow? So a large bomb used to demolish extensive areas or an unusually successful hit with widespread popularity. So as I said, kind of a cool thing. Let me see if I can find one that's a little longer. So on uh, Chrome, I have the styled uh, scroll bar too. That's just CSS. Unfortunately, the styled scroll bar doesn't work on Firefox or Internet Explorer, but uh, um, but there's a plugin when we get to jQuery that will let us do that on, in a browser independent way. Um, so that's the project we're going to build. Um, the cool part about it is that uh, the dictionary is pretty large. It's 20 megabytes or so of data. And so our little bookmarklet doesn't want to have to load all that data into JavaScript in order to find a particular word. So what it does instead is the bookmarklet um, talks to a PHP web page, and then the PHP web page fetches the data out of the MySQL database and returns it, and then the script uses the results from a query in order to pop up this little, um, this little information box. And that's called Asynchronous JavaScript and XML, or AJAX for short, so this week we're going to learn about using Ajax to have your JavaScript scripts fetch information from a backend web server.